Hi ladies, today I'm going to teach you guys how to use um, a party profit form that I've created. Uh, I actually posted it on our Facebook groups, but I just wanted to let you know it's, um, I've created a, a, a few files that um, show your different buying discounts. So um, in the Facebook groups, you'll notice that there's a party profit form for if you're at a 35%, 40, 45, 50, and 55. And I'm going to basically just explain um, the differences to you. If you're at a 35%, then this number is going to say 65 here, and um, I'll go over that in a minute. If it's uh, if you're at a 40%, this number is going to say um, 60 uh, or 6 tenths. Um, if you're at a 50% uh, it's going to say 5 tenth, tenths, um, but we'll go over all the details in just a few minutes. So essentially I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about how to fill in um, this kind of party profit form. Some of you guys have requested it, so you want to know how much money you're making and I want to make sure that you are getting paid. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get out some party profit forms, or not your party profit forms, I'm sorry. You're going to want to get out some, um, some of your old order forms maybe. And I'm just going to go ahead and just take out a small order just so I can go over a few things. Um, where it says total collected from customers and hostesses, it says add all of your order forms product total line. Now, essentially, I'm asking you to fill in how much money you physically collected from retail uh, or you physically collected from your customers before your hostess credit. I'm sorry. Let's try this again. How much money you physically collected from your customers and your hostesses before shipping and handling and tax. So I'm just going to go over some of these things with you and I'll just kind of show you how I'm calculating it. So let me get out my little calculator so you can kind of see some numbers. So I have an order here for, grab a, helpful if I grab that order form, huh? Okay. So I have an order here for, Where did that calculator go? Okay, I have a order, an order here for $108. I have another order here for $75. That's how much I've collected from the customer. I collected $28 from another customer. Collected another $55 from another customer. I had another $18 from another customer. Another $95. Uh, 21 from a customer, 29 from a customer, and then the hostess, I collected from her $34.50. Now, of course, the hostess, she actually had a lot of free product. She had $100 in free product from her show, but I collected $34.50, so I'm putting in $34.50 here. So essentially, I collected $463.50, so I'm going to put that right here, $463.50. Okay. It's going to fill in a couple of forms for me. It's going to fill in just some of these numbers. Ignore those until you fill in this next number in pink, which is your retail order. You're going to add all of the retail values of your items sold, items that you discounted, items that you gave away, like if you had a sale that night, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and I'm, I actually like to go back through the order forms and this is where I like to double check everything. So I had an order um, that was... Um, I just, I like to go through and add everything. I had a Sensations for 15, a Hanky Panky for 69, a sh and Sugar Polish for 24. I'm going to go ahead and do the Hostess's order next because that's the order in my thing. So I have, I'm just going to add up these things right now. 16 for the Body Dew, 14 for Kiss and Tell, 24 for Sugar Polish, 15 for the Between the Sheets, 10 for the Lip Locked, 16 for the Just Like Me. Um, the Jaguar was 59 That's the retail value of it. Um, she actually was charged half of that. She had a half off item, but I'm still going to add in the retail value. So $59, $10 for some booty ease. And I'm just going to go ahead and go through the rest of these really quick. I like to do it this way because I find that my numbers are a lot more accurate 
if I can just go ahead and just double check it. Okay, so I'm done. I have gone through every single order form and I've added up every single item that I sold. And I had, I actually collected $463.50 towards my items, but the amount that I'm going to be placing my retail order in order to get everything back that either I gave away from hostess credit or gave away from a big spender basket or whatever was $603. So I'm going to go ahead and write in 603 right here. Okay. And now it's going to do all the rest for me. Bam. There it is. So I am going to be placing an order for $603. I collected $463, which means that it's going to cost me $271.35 to reorder my sold products because I'm at a 55%. Of course, this number will be larger for you if you're at a smaller buying discount. Um, so that's my cost to reorder. My profit before games or prizes or catalogs were given away, I profited $192.15. So that money just, that's, that's my profit. Now, of course, if you wanted to be a little more nitty gritty down to the detail, you could create a column here that talks about some other um, costs that you might have incurred if you had to, um, if you gave away a Dick Tarts, you might take $2 from that. Um, if you gave away 10 catalogs and maybe 10 pens and maybe 10 business cards, we usually like to break that down to $2 per person. So that would be another $20 out of your pocket out of that. I don't like to keep track of those things only because my, my bottom line, what I care about is what I see for taxes. So that's basically that. If you really want to go ahead and, and figure out what your deduction is for tax purposes, you could actually take this number. I'm just going to write it in deduction. You could take, and this actually might be on your sheet already, um, a deduction for tax purposes would be um, A2, let's see here, A2 minus A8, oops, let's try that again, mess that up, A2 minus A8. Okay, so my deduction for tax purposes would be, let's try that again. <laughs> It'd be A8 minus A2. I'm still learning how to do this. Uh, Excel is a foreign language to me. But my deduction for tax write-off purposes would be $139.50, which of course is always really great for you come the end of the year when you're doing your tax write-offs. And the reason why is because you could have sold all $603 of that. You could have sold every single penny of that. Um, however, you didn't. You gave some of it away. And that is how much you gave away in product. So... That's basically everything that you need to know about this party profit form. Have a great day.